see them a lot. Sometimes they get stuck in the water and you know bass and trout are after them. So, first I'm going to start out with a size 10 U202 curved hook. Then all we need is some Ultra 140 black thread large yellow chenille and I use the dry fly rooster necks number two badger all right so we're gonna start up at your tip and work your way down And what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to right about where it starts to curve into your hook. And that's where we take a tiny little piece of your badger. You're going to pull them off of this lower part right down here. And you're going to take it and you're probably going to put about mm, closer to three-eighths, quarter of an inch of the sticking out. So we're going to do two slight wraps and then pull tight, wrap some more, get behind it, wrap, 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 cut off your excess, and then wrap some more. Alright. One special thing that you need to make this bumblebee is, I mean, it's hard to find and all, I know, but a Sharpie, a black Sharpie. So all you're going to do is you're going to color that badger tail. Just color it. Make it black. Make it pretty. And the best part is it holds it together better. So you can see that you have that tail right there. Then you take a piece of your yellow chenille. And depending on whether you want to make a black bumblebee and a yellow bumblebee um, is up to you. Just always remember if you're doing black, start with black. If you're doing yellow, start with yellow. Um, and I'll show you how to do a black one because this one is yellow. So we're going to put it just in front, you know, two or three light pulls. Kind of wrap her down. Put it behind and in front. Just, I mean, you're getting it as tight as possible. And then you're going to want to wrap yourself all the way to about an eighth of an inch from the top. Alright. So, again, take your black sharpie. And all you have to do is just color the chanel. Super easy, super simple. I usually do the first one just one wrap. Depending on what size of hook you have. I mean you can make them bigger or smaller, but then you just do a wrap, another wrap, and then again color the chanel. A quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. It's all what you make it. And then I'm going to end with the yellow because I'm going to make a head with my black thread. I have limited space because I do have a size 10 hook, so. 
and then just wrap it until you have a tiny little head on there. And then all you need to do is tie it off. You can use a tool or you can use fingers. I like to use a tool because I learned how and <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. I do three just because I'm always scared it's going to come off. And then one thing I do do is I put just a little bit of hard head on it. And what I do is I turn it upside down. I take my needle and I just dip it. So I'm just dipping it in and you can see I have a little bubble just a tiny bit and just kind of put a little bit on it just to make it hard so that the line doesn't come loose and there you go that is how you do a bumblebee